Hello everyone, welcome to the Jewish Week Online. We're here at a better place in Tel Aviv to learn about the electric car. Countries from around the world are looking to decrease the dependence on oil. And Israel is a leader in innovation in developing electric car. Better Place will be deploying various charge stations and incentives for people to use electric cars. Let's learn more about Better Place. That is zero emission, right? It doesn't emit anything. You can come a bit closer, but I won't have to raise my voice all the way. Uh, and that's the car we got on market in the end of 2011, the last quarter of 2011. The car you see right here actually is a bit different. That's the Renault Laguna. And we brought this car, these cars, especially here, so can, people can come and have a sensation of how it is to drive an electric vehicle. This car was actually manufactured as a regular diesel fuel combustion car. And we've converted it to be 100% electric. So right now it's fully electric, right? Okay. okay. So let's get closer to the charging spots. Let the model have their picture and then <laughs> you can come closer again. Don't be shy. So let's see how it works. Every customer, every subscriber gets this identifying card right here. All we have to do to unplug for the owner of the car, we swipe the card, we hear the beep, it releases and we take it out, right? The door closes, it's automatic. So the automatic door closes and that's it. When we reconnect, take the card again, swipe it, door opens, light goes on, and we plug it in. Then it locks mechanically, you heard that? Locked mechanically in the post. Afterwards, we're going to lock the vehicle and we'll lock it mechanically on the other end so it locks mechanically on both ends. So no one can unplug it unless we're the owner of the car. We can fiddle with it or do anything up to damage it. So that's about it. Uh, the idea is that every customer gets two of these individual that he can allocate wherever he wants. One in his working place and one in his home. So you can really get up in the morning with a full battery and also leave the office with a full battery. Full battery means how much? How many miles? 100, no, 100 miles. 100 miles, 160 kilometers, that's exactly right, uh, which is more than enough. Most people drive 60, 70 kilometers, 40, 50 miles a day, um, which means we'll be able to go home, plug the car, go to work, plug the car, like we do with our cell phone. Um, if you would want to go more than a... Uh, you guys can be able to... If you would want to go consecutively more than 100 miles, we'll be able to go into the battery switch station. You've seen that inside. That's our exclusive development. It's not trivial at all. It's only here in Israel and it's the, the first, that, um, we're the first to do it and to develop it. In three to five minutes, we go with the car inside. The conveyor belt comes, takes our car, like we do with the, with the wash, and switches the battery in five minutes. And that's it. We got a fully charged battery installed in our vehicle so we can keep on going and further and further. We can keep on doing it again and again. So we really have no limitation, no range limitation. By now, electric cars were defined as city cars. Why? We go around the city, go back home, and only next morning go, go at it again. And with this development, we won't have to. And that's it. Um, <coughs> and that's really our exclusive development. Operating system we'll be putting in the cars. Uh, this is the demo. So we can see how much energy we have left in percentages and in kilometers. We also have a built-in navigation system showing us the battery switch stations and charging spots. And it's gonna let us know when we have to drop by one and switch a battery. Build in cellular communication to customer service. Bluetooth connection for our own cell phone. Different applications we can install. If you'd like some car noises, you can put it here. And of course, we have a complete media center built in. So you can just pick the music you like. Just put it here. Okay. Now the big uh, meter on the left is the energy usage, right here. The, mo the moment we stop, the motor goes into standby mode. So it doesn't keep on going, we're all set to go. But if we're stuck in traffic, we're not wasting energy. If I start the air condition on, that's the only thing taking up energy right now. Well, the main energy, except for the small system. So you can see the hand jumped up a little bit. But we're not wasting energy. The hand over there, we're not wasting energy. The motor, our main one, is still on standby and it's going to continue going only when we keep going. Can, That's it. Can I hear it? Sounds like the volume then? Is this the volume? Yeah. Or I guess it's still recording. Yeah. How do you feel, Aaron? Feels good. You know, like, you can definitely see a difference. The pickup is pretty impressive. And then when you... That's curve, yeah. <laughs>
like, it was really good surprise. <laughs> is that normal? Like, is this like between like the Prius and the other electric cars? Like, what what separates your car from from other from others? Yeah, that's right. Uh, oh. Well, it's not our car. It's a Renault, uh -huh. and it's uh, just like any other electric car. Uh -huh. It has the ability ability to switch batteries. Uh, it's different from the Prius uh, since it's not a hybrid. So there is no uh, internal combustion engine kicking in it at uh -huh. uh, any time. And it's uh, just a completely smooth drive, as you can tell. Right. Okay, we'll stop uh, at the last spot. Okay. Just push the stop button. <laughs> so, uh, awesome! Cool. As you can see, better place. They're trying to make this world a little cleaner and a little better. This is Aaron Herman. Thank you for watching.